Yo, hello, it's me, Dark Meta. How you doing? Check it out. R20U7, release 20 update 7. Update is here. Minecraft 1.20.70 slash 71. Posted March 12, 2024. New update for Minecraft is available now, bringing several changes, fixes, and experimental features. Check out the highlights from this release. Wolves now have double the amount of health than they used to. The bogged wind charge and vault. Hmm. Okay. Some platforms may say this update is version 1.20.70, though the two versions are fully compatible in multiplayer. Vanilla parity. Mobs. Wolves can always stand the same amount of damage as in Java Edition. Oh, cool. Huh. Alright. Rather than having all... Halving. Half. Having. <laughs> all damage dealt to tame wolves by entities other than players or arrows. It's currently done in Java Edition. The maximum health of tame wolves has been increased from 20 to 40. Alright. Pre-existing tamed wolves will need to be fed to reach the new maximum health. Hmm, okay. So you have to feed your doggies. And then they'll... Alright, cool. So they doubled the health. To ensure the healing rate remains consistent, the health restored by feeding wolves has been doubled too. Alright. Java edition will be adjusted to match the new bedrock edition implementation. Huh. Okay. It's experimental features. Wind charge. Whoa. What the heck? Become the breeze. Using a wind charge will fire off a wind charge projectile similar to the breezes. What? Is that the new weapon? What the heck? Wind charge. Arbor player. Grant 10% more knockback than the breezes. Just like a projectile fired by the breeze, wind charges fired by the player also deal damage. If the hit and entity directly, breeze drops between 4 to 6 wind charges when killed. Wind charges have a max stack size of 64. Half second cooldown. Can be fired from a dispenser. Wow. Players that launch themselves with a wind charge. Only accumulate fall damage below the Y level of where they collided with the wind burst. Whoa. So what, it'll, it could launch you up in the air or something? But if you do it at like level 3, I mean, not level 3, 3 blocks high. You could go real, real, real high up in the air or something, and then still come down with no fall damage. Or something like that. Wow. Uh, this is crazy. So, a new weapon? It's nuts. New mob. New variant of skeletons that shoot poisonous arrows. Bogged. They're faster to take down 16 health instead of 20 health. They attack a slower interval. Hmm. These mossy and mushroom-covered skeletons spawn naturally in swamps and mangrove swamps. They can also be found spawning from trial spawners in some trial chambers. Wow. Crazy. Vault. Yo, what? A block that holds locked treasure and loot. Find the right key to eject its rewards. What? It's like chests with key now? Yo. That's crazy. Found throughout trial chambers containing the structure's most valuable loot. Dude, no way! What? It's gonna be like... What? It's gonna be like old school RPG or like adventure games where like you have to yeah, like go around and get a key. And open things. That's crazy. Hmm? After a player... Wait. 
can be unlocked by an unlimited amount of players. After a player has unlocked a vault, they cannot unlock that vault again. If a player has not unlocked a, that vault before, enormous stream of particles will flow from the player to the vault when nearby. Weird. What the heck? There's a keyhole that will be open or closed depending on the players nearby. If any nearby player has not unlocked that vault, the keyhole will be open. If all nearby players have unlocked that vault, the keyhole will be closed. It's freaking weird. So, I don't get it. Cannot unlock it again? Like, so it's open to you? Should, do they mean you only unlock it once? Like, why would you? Oh, you can't lock it and unlock it? That's the thing? Hmm. Within its cage, it will cycle through and display items which are possible to eject from its loot table. What? The rewards it ejects are randomized from its loot table each time it is unlocked? Whoa. Huh. It's weird. But do you, what's the difference then? I mean, what, you just get to see it? What's Why is that a big deal? Like, do you have to time it like you're doing a, like a roulette wheel thing or something? Like, stop it right at the right time or do it? Weird. Vaults currently reuse the same loot table that reward chests previously used in the trial chambers. This loot table is temporary and be completely revised as development continues. Cannot be crafted or attained in survival mode and does not drop anything when mined. Explosion resistant and it cannot be moved. Hmm. Like, you can't blow it up, or it's, res what is it, resistant, explosion proof? I don't know. Wolf, the collars of tame wolves have been increased in size, making them visible not only from the front, but also from other angles. Oh yeah, cool, cool. Well, that's kind of weird, though, because now they changed the old school wolf thing that it always was. I don't know how it's going to look. It's weird. And then some fixes and changes, performance, stability... Huh. Fixed a bug that could cause the loading screen to get stuck for some time around 40%. Well, mine always got, this beta got stuck on um, 40% when you're copying the world, which kind of makes your heart stop. <laughs> Fix an issue where the game could soft lock while displaying the loading resources pack modal. Fix an issue that could cause the game to freeze when changing languages in some platforms. Okay. Gameplay. Upward player motion will now reset ball distance along riptide gardens to break a ball. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Hmm. Players can now bridge blocks over water? What do you mean? You always could... What are, they, what are they talking about? I don't know what that means. Players can now bridge blocks over water. Why wouldn't you be able to? What are they talking about? <laughs> Fixed skylight not being updated properly when big gaps of air were present between the ceiling and the floor. Fixed bug there sometimes to prevent the stronghold portal from, room from being generated. That'd be kind of messed up. Fix players not unlocking the beginning trophy on the PlayStation for defeating a wither even if they're close enough to the wither. Mobs. When fed baby mobs, now emit both sound and particles. Hmm. All sounds emitted by phantoms are now audible even when the player is facing away. Uh, I don't use those stupid fucking mobs. All sounds emitted by warden are now audible even when the player is facing away. Hmm. Blocks. Wow. What the heck? 
Double slabs can once again be created when stacking two of the same slabs together. <laughs> they broke that before, it's weird. Uh, I don't know. Sweet berry bush sapling now slows down players when walked through. Cave vines without glowberries no longer drop a glowberry when silk touched. Ah. Hmm. Well, that's going to break my game then, because... I thought that's how they all, I mean, that's how they always were. I mean, to me, I thought that's how they were supposed to be. It seemed kind of fucking broken. I thought, like, yeah, you have to get a chance. I mean, I kind of wanted it to go away. I, so, like, you have a chance of them growing, and then you could harvest the vines below it, and there won't be any glowberry, and then harvest that one, or just harvest that one, and you get it. Or maybe if there's two on the whole vine, you knock the whole vine down and you get those two that fell off, you know. Or whatever, if you have to do them individually, whatever it is. But I thought it'd be better um, if, you know, you just grow one and you have to get it. You can't get a berry from every single one. Uh, blue and black candle cakes now display the, and drop the correct type of candle. Alright, patternless Banner is taken from the creative mode inventory will no longer reset when first place. Tall flowers are no longer affected by fortune enchantment. Why? Why would you take that out? The, see, is I mean, is that like the actual fucking joke though? Like, but actually like not the joke... Because it's an actual, that is supposed to be a feature, dude. Like, that's the way it's always been and should be. Like, why wouldn't you do that? You get Fortune 3, then you can do that. How else the fuck are you going to reproduce tall flowers, then? Well, I mean, what, bone meal them? Over and over? Because, yeah, you just get the Fortune 3. You, and you get, like, stupid amounts. That, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's going to be super annoying. Like, all these st stupid changes, I want to revert back. Have a mod or something that just reverts it back, and it's still vanilla gameplay. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Why would you do that? Large ferns now have a chance of dropping wheat seeds. Hmm. Kind of weird, but okay, cool. Tweaked loot drop distribution for fortune enchantment of melon, red stone, or close on another wart to better match Java edition. Huh. I mean, is that better or worse for us? Because, like, they're cha- What, they want to make Bedrock edition just like Java? So they're going to destroy Java- um, They're going to destroy Bedrock. Well, they're going to destroy both versions. They're going to destroy Bedrock. If you have parity, that's so stupid. We do not need parity between everything. It's dumb. It's You're going to ruin the game. You've already ruined it. You're breaking the game. You're going to break the game. Because <laughs> we have Bedrock. We have Java. The two are different. You might play one and not play the other. They're not interchangeable. So you're forcing people who love... Ford, and you're forcing people who love Chevy to both dry the one truck. Like, you want them to both drive, and it's like neither truck anymore, because they're both so exactly the same. You made so many things on the Ford similar to the Chevy, then you made a bunch of things on the Chevy similar to the Ford to the point where they're both identical, then neither exists. You keep taking stuff and making bedrock like Java, you're gonna you're ruining the feeling, the atmosphere, environment, the gameplay, the fun of it, like everything about it. Everything that's fun in the gameplay on Java will be ruined. Everything on this will be ruined. The way that it works and functions will be gone and lost for each individual one. So <laughs> 
it's going to be pointless to even care about what they're adding to the game anymore and just see other stuff and then decide at a point like not going past this point that's minecraft version next version it should be like part four by now and just be like well i'll just know about those things and maybe one day like 12 more versions they fucking drop 10 more versions then like okay i'll get that one and be like here now i'll play your new game that you created and probably not like it and be like fuck off like it's not worth it and then maybe be like hmm how could we just i don't know i mean what what's the point you look at the things they implemented and the features and so oh, everybody's playing the new minecraft look at all these new cool things that are in it and like clown cars and fucking retard shit like what is what's the point it's like not the same game it's not even the game anymore but, okay Fix the bug that made it so players could not place multiple items while moving, such as boats or fireworks. Okay, well, that's good. As a result of this fix, we had to revert the fix for slabs and stairs being placed inconsistently while continuously building. We'll work to reintroduce a fix for this in an upcoming update. In Realms, removing an item from an item frame while in creative mode will no longer destroy the item frame. In realms, removing a book from a lectern while in creative mode will no longer. Oh, in realms, removing a block. Yeah, in realms, removing a book from a lectern while in creative mode no longer destroys the lectern. <laughs> Getting distracted by the phone. It's great in my view. Lots of blocks now play appropriate sounds when entities fall onto them. Hmm. Blocks are as follows. That's weird. They make a different sound. I never even knew that. Mobs make different sounds when they fall on different things. Huh. What? Every single one of these has its own sound? Or is it just one sound and it didn't used to do it before, but now... I'm so confused, I don't know what that means. Updated the globe pattern on shields to match Java edition. In realms, attempting destruction of one sea turtle egg on a stack of more than one creative mode no longer destroys two at once. Hmm. Spawn eggs are now called mob spawn egg instead of spawns mob, so that players can more easily search for them in the creative mode inventory and portal flame uh, and portal frame has been removed to nature category can't read right now, man. And portal frame has been moved to nature category in the creative mode inventory. Touch controls. Players can no longer customize touch controls while on the death screen. Why would you want to do that? It doesn't make any sense. Whoa. Added 4K resolution support for Xbox Series consoles? It's crazy. What does that mean? It's displaying it to you in 4K, like the game? What the heck? Well, we have all this. And you can come here if you want to read the rest of all this. But that's the gist. There's a ton more stuff. Good bedtime reading. Moling. Yep. There you go. There you go. 1.20.70 slash 71 R20U7 update is here. Lots of cool stuff. Wolves! Yeah, new weapon, new mobs, new things, new stuff, bunch of bullshit that we don't need. 
All right, let's fucking go. <laughs> oh, man. All right, yo. This is me, Dark Meta. I'll um, talk to you next time. Check out my videos. Subscribe and um, yeah, touch all the buttons. Touch the buttons. Touch them. I'm touching. Touching. All right. Bye.